Welcome to Year 5's Shenton Primary Parent Information Presentation. Before I begin, I'd just like to introduce you to the team. This year in Year 5, we have three classes, five Bangladesh, which is taught by Mrs. Riley, five France by Miss Cara, and five Portugal taught by myself, Mr. Magda. Leading our team is the our assistant head and team leader, Mrs. Siddharth Matala. Before we begin, just to let you know, some of you already understand this, that as a school, we try to instill these values into the children. It would be great for you to help us instill this at home as well, because we believe that showing these values will help them to succeed. Getting into year five, the five Portugal, Portugal timetable. We will be doing literacy and numeracy every morning with assemblies on Mondays and Fridays. In the afternoon, we will, we will start up with the foundation subjects where we do the connected curriculum, RE, computing, um, science, music, French as a modern foreign language, and of course, PE. It's very important, please remember that your child's PE day is on a Friday and they must come to school with their PE kit in their big bag. You will notice in the mornings before the day starts at nine o'clock during the registration period, there are different activities on different days. It is really important that your child is in school on time so that they can get this extra practice to help consolidate their learning. Here we've pr provided you with an overview of what the children will be doing over the autumn term this year. You can take a moment to look, look at that. As well as uh, what, what is in there, we will also be practicing singing as our music unit. In year five, we have extremely high expectations for reading, writing and maths, just like in any other year group. However, with year five, it's very important because this is where we lay the foundations ready for when the children go into year six, where of course they have their SATs. Reading, for example, it's not just that a child should be able to read what's in front of them, they need to show understanding. Would you be able to answer questions like this? The question, first of all, from text might say, how can you tell that Maria was very keen to get to the island? This is a skill where the children would have to look for clues in the text and show us what language shows Maria's keenness. Things like, they cross the glassy surface of the lake. They need to show the understanding of what that means. What does it mean to say that the lake has a glassy surface? Because quite obviously there's no glass there. Being able to explain things like milled around in bewilderment. So we see here reading is take, being taken a step further. It is not just about being able to read the words. Writing as well. Here you can see examples of the kinds of things that will be expected in their writing. These are the kinds of things that we will be looking for. But also, one thing that you can do at home as a very quick win is get them to practice their handwriting. Letter sizes need to be correct. Writing needs to be neat. It needs to be legible. And by the time they get to year six, it needs to be joined. They will also be expected not just to be able to write, but to understand what they're writing, understand the grammar. Would you be able to tell, say, tell the difference between a subordinating conjunction and a coordinating conjunction? Would you be able to explain what the present perfect is? This is what is expected of the children in year five and six. 
they need to be able to understand this language and be able to recognize examples of these things as well as others. Maths as well. Extremely important that they learn their times tables and division facts. That will help them across the board in many, many units in maths. But maths, once again, is not just about calculation. It's not just about being able to add or being able to subtract. It's being able to understand problems, solve problems, using those reasoning skills and figuring out what exactly they need to do in order to solve the problem. In this question, for example, would they need to do addition? Would they need to do subtraction? Would they need to do anything else? In year five and across the school, we have our class rules and we have extremely high expectations of behavior. The children are now in upper key stage two and so they're role models for the younger children in the school. So we expect high standards of behavior and a good attitude is expected from all staff and children. And that is an attitude in behavior as well as in work. The class rules that we use have been generated by the children themselves. So they are the ones who have decided on and agreed as to how we should be behaving and what we should be doing. They're based on respect for self, others and the school, as well as school equipment. We do have positive and negative sanctions. There are many positive rewards, including golden time, access to the AstroTurf. We have our special mentions, stickers and prizes sometimes. There are also sanctions and we will follow the behaviour stages. The children are well aware of how this works and will be trying their hardest not to go above a stage two, definitely not to a stage four and most definitely not to a stage five. I'm glad to say of the children we have in year five at the moment, I don't believe many of them will get to those higher, low, higher stages. Our routines in school. Earlier I said it's important that the children be in school on time. The doors open at 8.40 a.m. And that is when children can come in and complete those extra activities in class. Please don't bring your children any, any earlier than that and leave them on the playground as we cannot be there to look after them. If you do need to bring them earlier, remember they can go to breakfast club. They must be here by 8.50 at the latest as that is when it is registration time, the doors are closed. If they arrive after 8.50, they will need to go to the office for a late mark. So please make sure they're on time every day. Now children in year five and six can walk home alone and some of you have already given us signed permission. If you wish your child to be able to go home alone, then you need to ask the office for a letter or ask myself for a letter. We can, once we've got that letter signed, they can go on their own. Children who are picked up need to be picked up promptly at three o'clock. In the interest of safety, please keep your children close when you're picking them up. We expect children to be ready for learning. This means that they need to get the right amount of sleep. They must have breakfast in the morning, come to school with a water bottle, if they have any medication, the school needs to know about this. Inhalers, for example, we need spare ones in school for them. And if they wear glasses, they must bring them to school. 
Many children fall behind because they don't have their glasses. Equipment. They need to come to school with the right equipment. Book bags, for example, PE kits for PE day, and coats if the weather decides. The attitude. They want, we want your children and our school to show that we are proud of our learning, proud of our work, and that is the attitude we are looking for. One of the ways we present this is through our school uniform. I'm pleased to say that I don't think there are many, if any, children in Five Portugal who have a problem with school uniform. But just as a reminder, this is the, the uniform rules. Same with PE kit. I will say though, they must not wear jewellery. Earring studs are allowed, but the children must be able to remove them and them earrings themselves. I cannot remove the, the jewellery for them. They must be able to do so themselves. In the winter, when we have, uh, if we have any outdoor PE activities, I will allow them to wear a hoodie while doing PE, but they will not be allowed to wear coats. PE is part of the curriculum and I will expect them to be taking part unless there is a valid reason for them not to. Along with PE and staying healthy, we are also a healthy school. And so we, should, we expect the children to have healthy lunches and snacks. Children for, for snack time at break can bring fruit or cereal bar to eat. No crisps or chocolates, please. And if your child brings a packed lunch to school, please ensure they have a healthy selection of food in their lunchbox. If your child goes home for dinner, they must not return to school before 12.50. Homework, as with last year, will be published on MS Teams. This will be published on Wednesday. Please look out for notifications on MS Teams which will tell you when the homework is there, so you can then check that with your child. The homework will be, should be submitted on Teams and will be checked on the following Wednesday. Reading is part of their homework and they need to be reading every day. Please ensure your child reads 10 minutes each day and sign their reading records to say that they have done so. If they read more than that, even better. I understand that a lot of you are busy and so cannot listen to your child read. If you can, or if someone in the house can listen to them read, that would be amazing. But if not, please just make sure that they are doing some reading, even if it's by themselves. Times tables, as I mentioned earlier, are also extremely important and they need to be practicing those. They need to be able to recall their times tables and division facts very quickly. Please also help your children to learn their spellings in readiness for their spelling test. In Five Portugal, spellings are published on MS Teams on a Monday and the test will take place on a Friday. Please ensure that children return all reading books to school when they're finished with them. They should really only have one book from school at any one time. Great news for this year, after school clubs have returned. Some children have already returned letters for that. We have a variety of after school clubs and they'll run every day from three till four. The day dependent on the year groups. Very important, please ensure arrangements are made to pick up your children at four o'clock if they're attending any clubs. If they are allowed to go home alone, that's fine, they can leave themselves at four. However, after the October half term, once the clocks change and it's getting darker, all children must be picked up. 
there will be no children going home alone at four o'clock once the clocks have changed. Many parents ask us for resources. These are useful resources that you can use on the internet. To access these, if you go to the school website, you will find links to, to all of them there. But another really good resource for you is the Shenton School app. If you have not done so already, please download the app. It's very easy to download and obviously there's no cost. Any school letters, any updates, for example, if a school trip is running late, if there's any school news or any important information, this will be sent through on the app and published on the website. If you download the app, you will get a notification whenever any new news has been published. To download the app, it's very simple. Go to your Play Store or the App Store, search for the School Jotter, okay? type in school jotter and you should see this symbol download it when you open it for the first time it will ask you for the school name or postcode if you enter shenton primary school or our postcode ali 53 fp this will then save on your phone a school jotter with the correct school and you will receive that notification if any messages are sent. If you're having any problems downloading the app, please come to the office. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via email at ymacda.shenton.leicester.sch.uk or if you actually want to speak to me face to face, you can arrange a meeting via the office or even see me at the end of the day for a quick chat when you collect your child. I hope you have found this information useful and I look forward to meeting you all as the year progresses.